thank you very much to uh, Active Housing and the Danish Presidency for inviting me for this symposium. The built environment provides cheap and quick opportunities to reduce emissions, first and foremost through improvement of the energy performance of buildings. But it is also crucial in order to deliver on our long-term goal. The low carbon roadmap that the Commission presented last year shows that emissions in this sector, the building sector, it can be cost efficiently reduced by around 90% by 2050. In other words, this sector is absolutely crucial for our emissions reductions. Europe has set very ambitious targets, both for cutting uh, CO2 emissions and for improving energy efficiency. And the EU has decided that by 2020, all new buildings has to be nearly zero energy buildings. Why are we here today? Well, honestly, we cannot wait for the politician to agree upon some new legislation, regulative or whatever, because there is so many good opportunity. It's too important to wait. We, at the business side, need to take the responsibility to do something now. That's very important. Active House Alliance is an alliance of national and international companies and research institutes. It's based on, on open source and a true partnership. The Active House Alliance is working on the Active House principles, which are based on a holistic view of buildings, including energy, indoor climate and environment. The Active House Alliance would like to bring forward the knowledge that we have, and we would like to participate in relevant work groups with the European Commission or with the individual member states in their work with 2020 legislation, the nearly zero energy buildings. The idea is to spread this message to authorities and civil servants so the Act to Have principles can become part of future legislation codes for building. We demonstrate that existing innovative energy efficient technologies is available. We don't have to wait until 2020 or 2050 or whatever. Come on, let's promise ourselves that we can make a difference from tomorrow. There are so many good solutions out there, but they are not always very much known. And they are not always very much known by those who are uh, carpenters or doing the work when, when the citizens call someone to, to fix their house. So I think to disseminate the best cases, the best solutions, that is a very important point. Some of our members has already built a number of projects and we have gained a lot of information from those projects. Those will be brought together and we will present them from time to time. The Active House Alliance will also organize a number of symposiums and we have already participated in free here in Brussels during Sustainable Energy Week and we will continue in the future as well. And at those symposiums we would like to bring forward all the knowledge that the individual companies and the members of the Active House Alliance has. It's not rocket science, but if we do it collectively, if we really take these steps forward, we would become much more energy efficient as a region. We would have to be less dependent on imported fossil fuels. I mean, also macroeconomically speaking, there is so much to be gained in Europe if we actually did what we could do with the technologies that you show here are already there. It is actually sometimes a bit hard to see why don't we just start getting things to the scale we need with the urgency we need and there I think the private sector, the business uh, will have to work together with the regulators so that together we can take care that we speed up just a bit doing what makes sense for all of us.